Hi folks, welcome to today's video. So today we will try to measure some AC currents. Um, so let's assume that there is an AC current flowing through this conductor and the potential difference between this conductor and a, a green line which is connected to the ground, 120 volts. How do you measure a current? So what you would first do is use like a ferrous conductor over here. Um, so when you have electricity going through a wire, through a ferrous conductor is going to induce current in this direction and in order to measure that current you can use a lot of windings and um, this is just a bunch of wire that is wound around this ferrous material and then all, all you have to do is try to measure the voltage between this so you can use a microcontroller or something that can actually measure this um, so in order to do that you need uh, you can you cannot actually directly measure the voltage between these two positions instead what you can do is have a burden resistor here that will uh, where you can measure the difference in uh, potential between these two points uh, that can be plotted and you can actually measure using the adc of a microcontroller um, so basically once you plot this voltage as a function of time you can choose these burden resistors such that you'll get uh, peak to peak voltage of around uh, plus 6.5 volts to uh, minus 6.5 volts which means it's a complete range of 3.3 volts between these two uh, points and then you can actually measure the voltage as a function of time so once you know this you can then divide this number uh, divided by the burden resistor and then you multiply by the number of windings that you have in order to get uh, the amount of uh, current that is being consumed by um, this particular red wire which means that all you have to do is then integrate over a function of time in order to get your current amperage okay so this is how you would actually measure ac currents um, you can also do the same thing for uh, dc currents instead you can just connect directly this to a dc source instead of having these coils and ferrous materials um, so basically uh, this is how a ct clamp works so you can buy these ct clamps from various sources uh, some inside us some from china and they're all uh, the same thing you just have some have uh, the burden resistor already built in some don't so you have to add these burden resistors but then there are different ways of actually um, getting this value for the different sources of um, usage of electricity in your house so what you can instead do is buy a lot of sensors um, so this is one of the company it's called uh, sense um, so what it has is just two CD clamps so the two CD clamps go on top of um, the inlet uh, two phases that you get in your house so most of North America you have two different phases and then you have your ground that is that uh, wire in the back and basically it measures the current and then uh, it transmits all this data back to itself server and then it does some kind of machine learning to see how a certain uh, device turns on and off and uses your electricity in your house and then tries to figure out different appliances in your house and it gives you a very good estimate of uh, how much electricity has been consumed it costs around 259 dollars all the way to 299 depending on what sale they have and this has been constant for the last few years and um, this also has a home assistant integration so if you want to go this route yes you can buy this and you can actually get information on various uh, things that you have and um, you can also integrate into home assistant so the other way to do it is use circuit setup at us um, so this actually is a board that um, fits your regular esp32 module so it has six different inputs where you can connect these uh, ct clamps um, so uh, in order for me to use this i would probably need one of these main boards and two of the add-on boards so in total i'll have like 18 ports which means that i can connect up to like 16 of these 20 amp circuits so if i have 16 different circuits in the home connect each one of them on that and then i can have two of these huge clamps that i can get the total current that is going out of the house so basically those are two different phases so those can be connected to the two other ports so in total you have 18 ports that i can use and then this is your um the power supply that will power everything up so the thing is this is a whopping 423 dollars uh, but this uh, supports a very open source uh, thing uh, you can go and see what code is running here and uh, you can easily integrate this to home assistant 
Um, so the other route that I chose was actually use Empuria View. Um, it also has a ESP32 in it. I, I opened it up and looked inside. Um, it, it's, it looks uh, really interesting. So if someone is going to hack this, uh, I'll be interested in what the future of this guy holds. But um, these guys are selling uh, this product for $149. Um, and it comes with 16 different sensors, uh, the CT clamps. Um, and it also, you can actually connect up to three different um, 200 amp um, CT clamps as well. But the US versions uh, are only shipped with just two of these clamps because we only have two different phases here. And this is where the Wi-Fi connector connects. So basically, uh, this is what the route that I, I went with. And then um, I integrated this into Home Assistant. So I'll go, go and show you now how this is actually uh, being set up by me. I did it all by myself. I'm not a licensed uh, electrician. And uh, basically, you have to be very careful when you work with electricity. If you're not comfortable with what I'm doing here, please hire an electrician. Um, this is just a warning. Don't You don't want to play with electricity. It can kill. Uh, so you have to be very, very careful. Um, and make sure that you turn everything off when you're working on this. Um, so those are the two things that I would I'd like to mention. But then, you know, once I get all this, we'll try to put it in Home Assistant and get energy values. And you can monitor uh, the different things that are happening in your house. And you can get your um, rates, your consumption, and you can get what devices are used uh, in different portions of your house at different times of the day. Okay, let's go ahead and now install this. So this is the electrical box that I have. It's a 200 amp panel, and uh, we're going to um, attach uh, the Emporia energy monitor in here. Um, so before you start, you want to turn off the power uh, over here. So even if you turn off the power, the lines that feed in are hot. So you have to be very, very careful if you're not confident in what you're doing. Um, yeah, you probably can hire an electrician who can do this for you. Sorry for the terrible lighting for the next few seconds, but uh, all I do is remove the panel off. And uh, first thing you want to do is turn off the service right there and then use a non-contact voltage tester. That's what I'm doing there to make sure that it doesn't beep, which means there's no voltage. I put in a new um, 20 amp um, breaker in there, connect one leg of the Emporia views um, red wire over there, then a pigtail, uh, another breaker. So this is going to be your second phase. Um, so this I connect to the black wire of the Imperia Views uh, connector as well. So that is connecting to those two different phases. Then the blue wire and the white wire, you want to put it into the earth or the neutral wire. So now all I'm doing is putting some zip ties uh, to clean up uh, the wiring over there connecting the Wi-Fi antenna. And once that is done, you want to connect the power to the Emporia view. The next thing you want to do is connect those big CT clamps. Those are the 100 amp CT clamps uh, to the two different faces that come into your panel. Uh, once uh, you connect it in the right orientation, you want to reroute the wires to the side of the panel. Next, you want to connect a few of these uh, 50 amp CT clamps to each different circuit of your house and uh, I'm connecting uh, eight different circuits on right hand side and eight different circuits on the left hand side of my panel. When you're doing this you want to make sure that those clamps are in the correct orientation. It has two different symbols K and L so you can refer to the manual. Uh, you want to make sure that the L is towards the load side and uh, the K is to the other side. So that is very, very important. And uh, in my case, I also have a two pole um, AC over there, which uses 240 volts. And I just used one clamp and I'm just going to use a multiplier in the app to multiply the usage for the AC. Now that that is way too many wires in that area, you want to clean it up. You want to use some zip ties to kind of tie them together to make sure that they don't like create interference for the next user who's going to open this panel. 
And the last step is to put the panel cover back on uh, just by putting the screws back into its place. And once that is complete, you want to turn on the service by uh, flipping the 200 amp switch at the top of the panel. So next you want to install the Emporia Energy app from the App Store. And once that is complete, it is installed. You want to follow through the steps that it gives you in the app to connect to your Wi-Fi. You can create an account and uh, then pair your Emporia View to its cloud service. I made a mistake. Um, so basically these panels, they have one phase, the second phase. So that is your phase over here. Um, so they go one, two, one, two, one, two. And I combined uh, two of these over here. I also combined two of these over here, which means this is on a different phase as compared to this, even though these two are from the kitchen plug. Um, so all I have to do is like switch this over here, this over here, same thing. I just have to like switch a few things over so that the things that are combining are on the same phase rather than right next to each other. So I'm going to do that and come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back over here. So all I did was actually swap um, these two breakers over here, same thing. I just swapped these two breakers over here. So basically these two are connected to the same CT clamp and uh, those two guys are on the same phase. Same thing is true for these two guys as well. They're on the same phase. So in your home assistant, you want to go to your HACS and go into integrations. I already have uh, my integration installed, uh, but again, there's a repository. Um, so this is by this particular user with the Aquaria view over there. And um, here are the instructions for it as well. So you want to install this uh, integration into the HACS and then restart it. Um, so once you restart it, uh, different sensors show up. So now in your configuration, go to your integrations and uh, different sensors start showing up. So basically this is um, your one day um, energy usage, one minute energy usage, as well as one month. So you don't get the second resolution. So this is kind of like getting the data from the cloud, uh, but then you can use this value that is uh, the one month value to actually put as your energy value over here in your home assistant. Uh, so over here, you can actually see the different uh, energy usage that I have had um, uh, for the different uh, circuits in my house. And uh, this is our input. So basically I just put this as the input and from that um, I'm able to track what is being used and uh, then I can make a lot of automations and uh, I can turn on and off uh, different parts of our house in order to uh, make informed decisions. 